Hey guys, I thought I'd do something a little bit differently today. Um, since a lot of people watch my channel that are keto adapted or fat adapted, I thought I'd make like a high fat, high protein, ketogenic um, treat. And it's actually pretty good. Now, just so you know, the salary that's here is just for later. It's actually uh, to dip the treat to dip in the treat okay and the butter and baker's chocolate is to show you that that's what you're going to use to make the chocolate syrup to go inside the treat all right and as always what i'm going to do is as i'm making this stuff i'm going to put it in my fitness pal and i'll show you the rundown on my fitness pal now i'm going to walk over to the cam right now Okay, you hit plus on My Fitness Pal, add food, and then do snacks, and then hit the scanner, and then put the food right here in front of the scanner. Then it'll come up. One fat, one third less fat Philadelphia cream cheese bar. It'll be two protein six fat and zero carbs and you hit OK. Now what you could do is change the amount from that point on and I'll do that later and show you the rundown of this recipe but I wanted to show you how you add things into MyFitnessPal so easily because if you are dieting you should be logging in all of your calories and all your macros but I'm going to set that aside till after the video. All right, first things first, I've got a pair of scissors here, and I'm going to open up the cream cheeses, which they're not super cold, so they'll, if, you know, if you're going to do this, take out the cream cheese ahead of time to uh, let it soften up, because cream cheese, when it's really cold, is hard to work with. Then start mashing up the cream cheese. This part we could probably cut. What I'm going to do is put four ounces. You know what? First thing I'm going to do is go in my fitness towel and just add four ounces to this under snacks. I'm going to scan it in. Well, I know you can't see, but you see that I'm doing it. Clicks. And five proteins and 25 calories per tablespoon. If you click here, you can pick ounces right here and then pick four of those like that and then hit save and then add it. Okay. And then I know that's my 1,279 calories is actually for the day, not this recipe. I'll show you later. Add four ounces. Oh, I better look. Okay, there we go. There we go. The four ounces will basically loosen up the cream cheese and you might not want to pour it all in one spot. There you go, like that. You could eat half of this recipe yourself and you would still be only at like 16 carbs.
And you've got to be pretty strong to be able to do this. Even with the eggs added. Egg, egg whites, sorry. But it starts to get nice. Okay, now we're going to add Splenda. This here, I'm going to use this and I'm going to pour basically a cup of sugar or Splenda, a Previa, in here. I'm going to go prepare the chocolate syrup to mix in here and I'll be back. Alright guys, I entered the chocolate sauce and I'll show you this right now in the thing that's butter and baker's chocolate unsweetened and I'm going to pour that inside of here right now and mix it in. Chocolate icing cheesecake. And the celery is actually for dipping it. Oh my god, that's going to be good. By the way, I just got off of a fasting day. So my carbohydrates. Uh, uh, let's say I'm in a calorie deficiency right now. So usually the next day after fasting, I'm allowed to do pretty much a cheat day. Um, this is not really a cheat day, but I figured I wouldn't go crazy, but I'd have something special. So. As you can see, the consistency is almost like a really fat whipping cream now. Nine times out of ten, I do this stuff by hand, and um, that's how I got such huge forearms. And uh, they get pumped, baby. I'm repping it right now. Consistency. There you go. So you can see the consistency of that. That is going to be badass. Now you can put it in any bowl you want and then dip it with the celery and it'll be great. Okay guys, we're back and I decided I would put it on a plate with the celery to show you what it, you know, I'm terrible at this stuff, obviously. I'm not here because I can decorate a plate, but you could just do something like that or you can keep it in a bowl. And let's see how it tastes. Oh my God, that's amazing. My Fitness Pal under Keto Whip, I'll call it Keto Whip for vegetables, so that if you're a friend of mine, you can get the recipe right off of there. And if you're not a friend of mine, I'll have it in a little picture after the video. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. That's Pump It Up. Okay, everybody. I'm back with the Keto Breakdown, and I put it under snacks for tomorrow. As you see, there's the Break Free 100% Liquid Egg Whites. You've got a quarter. Uh, no, you've got uh, four bars of the um, Philadelphia Cream Cheese. You've got the Salted Butter. The artificial sweetener, which is a previa in this case, usually Splenda, and unsweetened chocolate, and that's pretty much everything to the dip. Now, you're going to notice that if you're looking at the uh, macros here, you do have a little bit of carbohydrates. That is 8 grams, but that's for the whole freaking bowl. That's a lot of this whip. You could actually make it a quarter. For yourself but if you have friends over you could make it this way and divide it by four or eight people 
and we've ate some of it already. So back to the phone. Okay, here's up oh, da, da 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 right here. The calories is 2882, but you divide that in four, if you you know what I mean? So it's like one quarter that if you want to eat it by yourself, which is actually still a lot for a snack. This is one of those things that you're actually gonna to want to make if company comes over or you have a friend over, and uh, between two people you might be able to eat half of it with a ton of salary. Alright guys, that's pumping up for today. If you like this, try it out. It is awesome to snack on.